they're inside getting coffee. I already had two cups, so I'm good. So today we are gonna head into Big Bear and do a little bit of wheeling. So we'll see you there. Started off here on New Dixie Mine Road, and I think we're gonna make our way to Rattlesnake Canyon Road um, if it's open. So, just cruising along. All right, we wheeled for a little bit and um, turned around. So, I think I'm gonna go camping. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Old Woman Springs Road. See you later, Steve. See you at the shop tomorrow. See you later, guys. For about 33 miles. Made it to the trail. Oh, I'm putting on my shoes right now. <clears throat> um, it's kind of bumpy. So, I think I'm gonna air down to soften the ride a bit. That's good enough.
it down. Right is a little bit softer. But, you know, I guess I've been used to driving the Tundra with everything in the in the uh, bed of the truck. So you don't really hear everything. But here, it's just kind of rattling. So now it's all about uh, trying to find a place to camp. This is the spot. I think I'm gonna stay here. Just relax the rest of the day. Starlink. I'm gonna go ahead and move that up onto the roof. I got the uh, Starlink up there. I fabricated that mount yesterday onto the uh, rack of the camper. I did that like in five, 10 minutes at the shop yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw a story of it. But um, it's prototype and I'm using this uh, Dakota Lithium Powerbox 10 to power it up. So right now we got some power going to the actuator and on this toggle switch. This is to raise the Starlink up and also bring it back down. So what I'm gonna do is when I pop the top, I'm gonna use the actuator and just make the uh, Starlink face straight up. Let's check it out. I can't see it. But see? As you can see, the Starlink is facing straight up. It's perfect. So a few months ago, I made a video on, um, <clears throat> on the 80. And that's where I went to Colorado to go pick up the Camtech to transform this SUV into a camper. And finally, months later, I'm able to camp out of it. I mean, I was able to camp out of it. I did go on one trip. I went to the beach to camp and um, it was cool, but I didn't have anything hooked up. So I got so spoiled from having the uh, Tundra camper that this wasn't enjoyable because I didn't have anything. I didn't have the microwave, the coffee maker, you know, stuff I don't really need, but it's stuff that I want. So um, I finally got the Red Arc installed. As you can see right here, 
I am at 99%. That's from running the Starlink in the fridge. And I've been here probably for a good 30 minutes already. <clears throat> so, let me give you a tour. So since the last video, nothing has really changed um, other than the Starlink mount up there and the uh, cross beams that I've added. Oh, I did swap out the lights. These are the uh, Flexera 4s from KC Highlights. I put the fender back on. You should see it's still kind of popping out. But looks better with it on. Yeah, not much else has changed to the exterior. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. This is the passenger side. So down here we got a little compartment. I um, just got my fan sitting in under there. It's a tight fit, but it stays under there. Um, stove. And this thing has some camp gear in it. Um, that's this side. So this is my bench. It was made to fit these front runner cases. Um, I didn't want to put any drawers or anything like that because of the added weight of the drawer slide. Um, right here I just throw some junk in there. Strap. few bags, pouches, but how this works here is I'm able to remove the front runner cases out this way, and then I'm able to remove it out this way, although it's hard to grip it. I'm going to have to put like some type of handle right here to grip it out but so in those two bins I have more camp gear so this side's my counter side um, still work in progress I just got the uh, the hoses hooked up the other day so I can have running water that's a seven gallon tank and then I'll have some uh, sliding doors that hide this which I haven't been able to get to just yet this section right here is for my stove. I didn't bring it. It's uh, made for the uh, Cook Partner stove. Fits right in there. Um, thinking about cutting a hole here for the water fill. I just put it right there for now. Uh, let's go inside. I can push these panels up to have more living space. So this is what it's like to sit inside the camper. I got my sink here. Still work in progress as you can see. It's not even mounted. So I got running water, turn on the pump. Open the flow for the water. You could hear the water pump kick in. You know, I can do some work if needed. I need to get me myself a keyboard or a laptop or something. I don't know. But I feel like I could do some work here. Send out some quotes on some camper builds, things like that. Then right here, I got some outlets, some power outlets. We can turn on the inverter. Right there, and it'll give power to this one here, and also power to the microwave. It takes a while, but there it is. Microwave is on. This one right here, this turns on the 12 volt outlets here. So, got an adapter for some USB Cs. 
Let's turn that off. What else is on here connected to the Red Arc? We have the uh, Starlink. That's powered on right now. And also the fridge. And this one right here. This is for my light right there. And this little light bar is from GoFlux. Tricolor, this is white, red, and amber. And if you hold down on it, the light dims. Hold back down, gets brighter. This right here is my Ice Co. fridge. This is the APL 20. Um, originally, the APL 35 is supposed to go in here, but because I'm enjoying it in the Tundra Camper, I'm using this one in here for now. Whenever I get a new fridge for the Tundra, the 35 is going to go in here. But I have it facing the other way because I'm still able to access it from here on the inside of the camper. I just got to kind of reach over, which is okay. But the main reason why it's like that is so when I'm loading it up, I can load it, it, load it up from outside or get things out a lot easier than having to come inside the camper just to get something out of the fridge. Um, batteries, there's two 100 amp hour batteries underneath. In this mess behind my seat is where I have the fuses and the bus bar and also the Rogue. And that's where that's at, my air, air hoses. It's right there. I need a pouch behind my seat to hold those. This flooring is a, like the uh, gym pads that you piece together. This one's the uh, light bamboo style. And the reason I like it is because it's, it's easy on the feet. You know, soft, uh, easy to wipe. Uh, one thing I forgot, one thing I forgot in the uh, Tundra is my Milwaukee blower. But um, yeah, Milwaukee blower blows all the dust out, no problem. All the whatever, all the dirt we track in here. So this is my first night in this uh, SUV camper with the build out. So I'm pretty excited to see how it does for me. So I think I'm gonna eat. I brought leftover pizza and Popeye's chicken from my son's birthday party yesterday. Cold pizza it is. What else is new in here? And that's it. I'm gonna eat. This is a late lunch. It's 4 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna eat and I'll check in later. Seven thirty one. It's time to eat. What is this? Roasted garlic chicken. So let's turn on the inverter. Three minutes. Three minutes. <phone rings> Smells delicious. Yeah. Eight 
36. I think I'm gonna head upstairs. It's 5.45 a.m. I gotta get to work. I just checked uh, maps and it says it's about a two hour, over two, almost three hours to get to work. So hopefully I'll be at work by 9.30. I wish I brought the buddy heater to warm me up in here. It's kind of cold. Anyways, um... Just gonna drink this coffee and prepare myself. What time is it? Try to leave here by 6.30. All right, making one more cup of coffee for the road. And I'm gonna start packing up. So yesterday, I forgot to show you the 2000 watt inverter from Red Arc. And here's the front side of the Iceco APL20. I think that was the perfect location for the fridge because it's easy access through the door. So I like it there. make my way down and I got to air up current ETA to the shop is about 9 9 15 so that's about the time I normally get to to the shop around 9 o'clock so it's not that much later so I think these uh one nighter trips are are doable. I'm about 20, 20 minutes away 
from the shop and uh, I just wanted to wrap up this video here the camp tech camper is pretty cozy and it's it is different than the tundra camper both have its pros and cons but I do love this camper and um, I can't wait to take it out again and fine-tune things here and there and make it a perfect smaller camper to take on the trails but anyways guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys on the next one and hopefully I'll have more updates on the camper to share with you guys I'll see you guys peace